It has finally arrived, Field of Glory 2 Medieval. Let's jump right in and take a look, guys. I want to see what battles are available, and apparently we've got Alexander Nevsky's campaign. Uh, absolutely interesting, of course, one of the greatest leaders of Russia, uh, and of course facing the Tatars, all sorts of different enemies. We've got the Engavin Empire. This one I'm not nearly as familiar with. Um, established by King Henry II of England. Ah, okay, we know what we're talking about now. Wait, I guess I learned something. The Mongol Invasion. Absolutely fascinating. And of course, the Northern Crusades. Now, this is, of course, the, tr the Crusades involving the Teutonic Order. Um, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, things like this. Uh, areas where there were still pagans at the time. Now I want to go back and take a look at the actual battles here. And let's take a look here. We are going to choose one of the epic battles. It looks like right now the Feudal North is going to be our selection here. I'm not sure. All right, guys. So beautiful. We've got the Battle of Hastings, the Battle of Tinchinbrai, Trutina Krugmar, the Standard, the Steps, and a number of different actual sides here. Normans, Welsh, uh, Polish, Mongol, all sorts of different uh, potential here. But I'm going to jump into the Battle of Hastings. And this is when, of course, um, Harold Godwinson, the Earl of Wessex, the most powerful man in the kingdom, was nearest to hand and was elected king by the Witan. Harold Hadrada, the King of Norway, had a claim to the throne through an agreement between his predecessor Magnus the Good and a previous king of England, Harthnagut. Hadrada invaded Northern England in September 1066, but was eventually defeated by Harold Godwinson at the Battle of Stanford Bridge. Hadrada died during the battle. So we are going to accept here um, the Battle of Hate. Wait to see what Field of Glory 2 Medieval has to offer, what it looks like. It's going to be awesome. So pretty standard Field of Glory, uh, which is routing the enemy army by at least 60%, of course, leads in a victory, or, or ends in a victory, I should say. Uh, so that's good to know. Very, very good to know. I'm just kind of getting a, a look here at the visuals. It's looking real pretty. It's looking real nice. I'll tell you what. We've got Norman Spearmen over here. Breton Knights and Sergeants prepared to attack. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get some more of those Breton Knights and Sergeants. But you know what? The Armored Spearmen do look quite good. Um, light Archers as well might not be a bad thing to have. So let's just go ahead and get two of those Light Archers. The rest I'm going to put into Knights and Sergeants. It's only 30 for them, so I will accept. Okay, guys, it looks like the Battle of Hastings is about to begin. I cannot wait. Let's do it. To start off, I think we want to go ahead and let arrows fly. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the enemy actually has some good quality Thirdmen here. These are not bad warriors on the slightest. Now, we've got dismounted Norman Knights, which are obviously also very good warriors. But we've also got the standard Norman Spearmen, and quite frankly, something tells me they're they're not going to be all that good in combat. So I'm not 100% sure I want to take the fight to the enemy. What I will do is I will start to advance here. Obviously, I'm starting to weaken them with some shot, um, specifically the good quality Fjordman trying to get a, a, a run going. Uh, but we'll start pushing forward essentially where our archers are here. So next turn, I will move this archer out of the way, or even easier, we'll simply move this guy forward. Ah, we're going to have to wait till next turn to turn. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm going to send this guy forward too. And of course, we want to make sure we are turned uh, facing the enemy. As for the rest of these archers, I'll keep them in position for now. Eventually, we're going to move them out of the way for the spearmen to take their place. Let's go ahead and open fire at that group of archers there. And just directly at these field men ahead of us. Why not? We might as well try to maximize casualties. Imagine if we could get a break this early on in the game. That would be tremendous. And one more shot. Now, we've also got some mounted knights behind the lines. Um, what I'd like to obviously do is try and flank the enemy. Um, that's, that's everybody's hope here. But time will tell if we're even capable of doing that. Uh, there's a lot of woods over here on the right side. Some open ground here on the left... I think what I'm going to do is start sending my cavalry that way. At least some of my Breton knights and sergeants. We're going to start sending that way. Push forward with my men. And of course, we're going to have to face these men forward all at once. And with this cavalry, we are simply going to prepare on the right side for what I hope will be a massive charge. So I'm sending a lot of the cavalry units over here off to the right. 
Um, obviously, I want our men to make contact first, and we'll send this group off to the left. Let's hope this works out. Again, this is the first time I've seen the Battle of Hastings represented this way, so I am definitely curious uh, to see if this is going to work or not. And in fact, I'm thinking the cavalry in the way there might be a bit of a problem. We're going to have to just ride out so that our men can push forward. All right, let's end the turn. Make sure we're not forgetting anybody. I don't believe we are. Let's see what the enemy does. Here we go, boys. Wow, they got awfully close. Wow, so the enemy is definitely letting us attack. Uh, I can understand that. Um, giving us, or, or making us have the initiative here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn my units. I'm definitely not going to attack this turn. Although I am tempted to go after that archer, but I think... The next best thing is just to open fire, because I get the feeling that if we actually charge him, he's simply going to run. He's going to get away from this mailed infantry um, and kind of do whatever the hell he wants. So I'm going to keep my distance. In fact, with this unit, I'm going to fall back to make room for some cavalry. We could potentially send the cavalry after him next turn, but this turn, there's really not much we can do, of course. Open fire. Let's get a look here from the side. Not too shabby. loose and again just turning forward we can decide what to do later with them we're just turning them towards the enemy actually going to push um, the archer over here in the woods we'll turn and fire from the cover of the trees there but the reason I really did that was I wanted to bring in an additional group of Flemish spearmen here even the Belgians are helping us, for goodness sakes. Flanders National is going to hate. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. Tremendous so far. I think, obviously, the only thing I'd like to do is eventually get these um, archers out of the way. We will do that. But currently, we're just trying to get our cavalry into an opportune position. And then really focus on one side. I'm thinking good quality Fearman. What about on this side? Good quality fieldmen. So I'm thinking we will start on this side. We're going to try to bash here and pretty much just roll up the entire army by attacking. Um, certainly not not simply not that simple. I mean, we're going to actually have to work for it, but um, let's see what happens. All right, I think I'm done with this turn. I'll push the spearmen up just so they're prepared next turn. And let's turn it over. The enemy being on a hill right there, I just, I don't know, I don't feel right attacking. Um, the next best thing I can do is, like, approach slowly and fire as I'm approaching. So pretty much try to expel as much ammunition as possible with these archers. And I am going to try to chase this one down with some cavalry. He's going to try to evade. Oh, maybe our first kill. Let's do a flank charge. And enemy is disrupted and will likely break next turn. Fragmented already. That was fast. Um, we got our flanker achievement, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to start pushing. Oh, yeah, nice. So we can get in the woods. I'm going to start pushing our cavalry through the woods over here. Now, had I known that, I would have been much more excited for the cavalry approaching. Let's get over here as well. I won't send any more cavalry, um, at least not on that side. But on this side, my goodness, guys. It makes me want to rethink the entire plan, to be honest with you. Um, in fact, push forward. Open fire. Push the cavalry through. I'm not going to keep the cavalry as one of our frontline units, but I think you guys can see what I'm doing here. Potentially, they could be a frontline unit um, advancing up this hill. But for now, I'm just going to pepper away at the enemy's existing infantry, trying to break them, of course, if possible. We do want to try to form some gaps in the enemy's line for us to, to actually make it through. Alright, let's fall back. 
Forward with the knights. Forward with the knights. This is where we really start preparing the potential attack here. Is getting these guys out of the way. Just pushing up one tile. That's it. I don't want to get crazy. I just want to sort of see my options and show the enemy <clears throat> that we are willing to advance. Maybe not exactly how they would like us to advance, but we are prepared for a fight. It's up to them to bring the challenge. Come on now, you English cowards. All right, folks. Ending the turn here. definitely want to make sure that this line is completely filled otherwise it's going to be pretty easy for the enemy to break us but we're going to end the turn see if they don't take the bait and actually try to attack us here i'd love to see some movement on the enemy um team but it looks like they're just staying back defending and using those missile units to try and damage us as much as possible there we go we got some movement but again it's just enemy archers I'm gonna have to send the horses after them And there we go, guys. Our first break of the game. Not too bad. A group of light archers. I'll take it. So I have rushed <clears throat> a few of my cavalry into the woods over here, guys. I've also rushed almost all the cavalry into the woods over here. Um, also primarily to make room for these spearmen. We've turned them that way. I want to fill up the gap. For now, these guys are just going to keep on firing at the archers. Obviously trying to get a break, trying to get a disruption of some sort. And if we don't get it, that's okay. We have patience. We certainly have patience here. Um, in fact... Yeah, I really want to move this guy out of the way. Here's what we'll do. It's a weird approach, but it'll work. Alright. And now we push our Norman Spearmen in the way. Again, I'm much more reliant on not the Norman Spearmen, but the actual Norman Knights. Um, I'm not sure the Spearmen are going to be able to stand this kind of a test, but let's hope so anyway. Let's hope so. Obviously, we don't want our cavalry in that first line against the Spearmen, and we're already moving most of them over here into the northwestern woods. Let's see. We could probably get a charge, but again, um, I want to I wanna bide my time. You can see we've got a tremendous amount of cavalry on both sides prepared to uh, to go to war, as it were. But I'm going to give the enemy one more turn to potentially attack me. Here we go. And there we go. The unit completely routed, threw down their arms, and headed back to their farms. They wanted nothing to do with this battle, and who can blame them? We've absolutely shattered those archers, but these slingers are giving us a lot of problems. And actually managing to do quite a bit of damage, too. Come on, you cowards. Nope, they're not going to make it. They're not going to charge, guys. So, I think it begins. Let's just take a look here. Our win chance is so low, but our draw chance is quite high. And the question is, could we get cavalry here in time? That's the question, right? Now, what if we just charge from here? Wow, actually not too bad. So, let's charge first with the cavalry. Get an impact charge. Look at that. Already disrupting the enemy Fjordmen. I didn't expect things to go that quickly. And now we're going to charge in with the Breton Armored Spearmen. Now they are severely disordered. So these guys are not exactly the kind of guys you would rely on in a fight. In fact, if I could bring up some cavalry, I might bring them up instead. Um, for now, we're just going to turn with this cavalry. We're going to start getting closer with this cavalry. But let's just take a look there. Okay, so we've got to get into a melee fight here for it to be a victory. What about over here? Yeah, so I am going to charge. Come on, boys. The initial attack is not going to go well for us, but everything afterwards should go pretty well. If we can hold on for a turn. That's the real question. Can we hold on for longer than a turn? I'm not so sure we can. Oh, there we go. Um, now, we could begin the general charge here. Start pushing their slingers back, etc. 
and that's what I'm going to do. Um, just to get us a little bit closer over here um, to the enemy line. Now, the problem is we can't turn these units, so we want to be very, very careful about how we proceed with this, um, this offensive. I am just going to slowly start moving my units up. We're not going for any massive charges. We're just trying to get into position. That's it. Loose! Loose! feeling they would break off. And now, <clears throat> just kind of trying to fill up the gaps over here um, is going to be my goal. Just fill up these gaps, get engaged on this side the same way we got engaged on the other side, and then come in with the cavalry and completely demolish them. That's at least my, my thought process here for this battle. Whether or not it's actually going to go that way, time will tell. Put him here. Put these cavalrymen, these Flemish knights and sergeants here. We will have beautiful estates for you to take in England, don't you worry. And you know what, since they're actually running, let's go for a flank attack. I just realized they have no way of escaping here. They're fragmented. They'll likely break next turn. You know what, the same may be true for these guys. Let's go for a charge. And at least we got them to evade. So I like that we don't follow through on the charge. We don't go chasing them. Um, we simply cause them to run there. Okay, that I don't like. See, that's what I was trying to avoid. That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> um, we'll take it, though. Okay. All right, folks, let's end the turn, and let's see just how these English respond. Are they going to start attacking now, or are they going to keep that defensive position? I think they're going to be forced to attack at this point. They finally did break one of our units, the archers. You see some movement by the Huskarls and the Fjordmen. Well, it could just be readjusting for an attack. This is what I really care about. Let's break them, boys. Come on. That's a broken unit right there. Another enemy unit routed. In fact, they're so terrified in the route, they're running behind our lines. I love it. Okay, now the question is, can we break this unit right here? The good quality Fjordmen. This is really the $5,000 question. Not yet. Not yet. Now, in a melee fight against these guys, we actually do rather well. Um, however, it's going to take more than one melee fight. It's going to take a few. Um, we're not just instantly going to roll over these guys. Oh, nice. This is the general... I didn't even realize that. So, this is the general stack... That's right, Duke William of Normandy. There should be something on the flag to denote that. I know in, in um, Field of Glory there was something to kind of denote that fact. Um, I am just going to turn. Just so that he can't attack me from the flank. Same with these archers. Um, just get them up and fire at those single units. Eventually, we will get a break. You know, obviously, this game is all about um, attacking, chances of a breakthrough, damage, losses, morale, etc. Um, so, I think, like, every time you fire bows, depending on the unit, of course, but a unit like this, I guess there's, like, a 1% chance, um, especially when he's, you know, doing pretty well of an actual break. We want to try to look for that chance. So, here we go, pushing forward with some spearmen. And we've got cavalry on the ready. In fact, I'm going to start turning them, preparing these cavalry for pretty much a, um, a flank charge. The only reason I won't attack um, right now is because even though the impact would be pretty good for us, unless we can follow up with an attack by some spearmen or swordsmen, um, our cavalry will be wiped out pretty quickly next turn. So we want to be careful with that, obviously. 
Good shot. I didn't think I would follow him for the route. This gives the enemy the perfect opportunity to do a flank charge on that cavalry and break them. That's why you gotta be careful with your routes in this game. Uh, what if we charge? Yeah, no chance at all of a win on a charge there. It all comes down to you, boys. It all comes down to you. Can you turn the battle completely? Here we go. Let's end the turn. I wanna see if the enemy's gonna hit that cavalry. Now, obviously, we're in very er or not early access, but the game has just been released, so there could be some issues. But I would expect any rational AI to do a charge on that cab. And actually, they're disrupting our cavalry right now. They're managing to disrupt both the cavalry and our regular units. Those guys are fighting pretty well. Um, incredibly, they did not attack our cab. They actually gave this cab the chance to escape, although he's stuck in now, obviously. He is stuck in. We're going to have to look for an alternative here. One. Two. Hmm. We're going for it. We're going for it. It's actually a pretty good attack, but I was thinking that we were going to be able to get in here on the side, and it looks like we probably will not be able to get there on the side. So I'm going to move forward. Yeah, that definitely complicates things. Let's get around over here with the cavalry. I'm going to keep that cavalry there just in case one of our units breaks. this side. This is where the magic happens. I want to just make sure that we can get in there with the charge. We can't get in with the charge yet. Damn, dude. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, maybe next turn. So, we're going to push a little closer and we'll just push this unit a little bit deeper. Why not? We've got some more um, knights and sergeants as well that we can bring up, so we'll start pushing them forward. Let's just take a look here. See, the impact we do pretty well, but only if we can attack afterwards with an infantry unit. And here, unfortunately, we can't. So the other option is get a little closer and do a charge from here. It's just kind of risky all the way around. I think it's going to be better for us to wait till next turn. I was really looking for a nice attack this turn, but that is not going to happen. No way. Might as well go ahead and get the spearmen up. And also start turning our men in the direction of the enemy in preparation for an attack. But overall, I think that the battle's going to be happening on the flanks. That's where a victory or a defeat is going to occur, as far as I'm concerned. Let's go, boys. And again, I am shocked that the enemy held on here, but they did extremely well, fragmenting both of our units there. If we want to actually break through and get a victory, we're going to need to get an, another cavalry unit to charge. There's no doubt about it. Simply no doubt. One thing that I always find difficult in Field of Glory is the fact that we not only have to move the cab, but also turn him in um, the correct direction. So we could take up to three turns um, for a possible, you know, charge. And there we go. They did break one of our units, causing a lot more damage over here, actually, to morale. They just saw their friends running from the battlefield in terror. Of course, they're going to be equally frightened. Um, let's see. Can we attack here? Nope. 
trying to see just where we can potentially attack. And again, we're going to have to wait till next turn to be able to really get a, a proper flank charge going. So at least we're getting ready for it. And I'd love to get some spearmen in here to hold the line, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So um, we're going to fall back. And the reason being, that's Duke William of Normandy himself. Uh, we cannot lose Duke William of Normandy. Uh, let's turn towards the enemy. I'm hoping these guys will hold on for just one more turn. If they can hold on just one more turn, I think we've actually got a massive attack coming in here. Over here, I hope we have a massive attack coming in. Let's just take a look. This actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going for it. Let's charge with the dismounted Norman Knights and Sergeants. Can we get another attack here? No, that's not that's not to our benefit, really. Oh, boys. Let's charge. Not going to do well against them at all. A total loss against the Fjordman. Look at that. Wow. A total loss against the Archers, too. Um, and I wonder if this has to do with just this being um, a downhill position. So going uphill, we're not getting the kind of attacks we were expecting. I'm not sure, boys. What I do know is I'm going to move this guy up this turn. And we'll just keep trying to support from a distance. Disperse that unit. And I think we just need to keep William back here in safety. He's a good fighter, but, you know, he just saw a group of his men be ruthlessly butchered. So we're going to keep him at distance so that he remains safe. All right, ending the turn. I knew this fight wasn't going to go well, but it's going better than I expected. Our cavalry held firm. The question is, can they hold firm yet another turn? I'm not sure they can. Come on, boys. For Normandy. For Normandy. Very even right there. Nice! We disrupted. That's what I like to see, boys. That's what we have to see for victory. A nice disruption there on the right side. What about now bringing in um, some cavalry? Well, no, they're all prepared for us, the bastards. The archers can't be prepared. They are. The, the archers are prepared for us. So we're going to go behind the enemy, quite literally. Um, what about charging here? Again, not looking so hot. We've got to break through on this side for sure, guys. Let's make it happen. They held firm. Come on, Norman Knights. They are fragmented, guys. One more good attack, and they will break apart easily. Just easily here. But we need that one more attack. Uh, and then we'll start working, of course, on these guys over here as well. The Fjord men over here. For now, we are keeping our distance. I don't know why I decided to turn just then. That was strange. And what about over here on this side? Again, another point of contention. And again, that impact is good as long as I can follow it up with an actual attack by my infantry. That's the issue. And if we get too close to set that attack up, they can flank charge us. So what I'm going to do here is just totally turn these guys this way. Charge. They actually held firm. Damn, dude. The enemy actually held firm. Um, 
doing quite well, I must admit. So how about we charge now with our knights? And look at that. Even the impact with our knights is not that great. It's very strange. Um, the draw chance is higher. We might just need to take a risk here. That's what I'm going to do against the Slingers. Yep, they've disrupted us. Wow. I wonder why that is. Uh, maybe it's just because we are in the woods. We need to get out of the forest. So let's do it. Let's keep pushing out of the woods here. It might come down to that right side. It really might come down to that right side there. So I have an idea. I'm not sure it's going to work, but my idea is to put all of my spearmen right there facing the enemy, see if we can lure the enemy into an attack, and then start using the cavalry to charge. But I'm just not confident enough yet to make those kind of moves, you know what I mean? Just don't have that confidence. Um, nonetheless... gonna get out of here with the cavalry try to get behind their lines ideally we break that group this turn come on boys i can't believe our knights are still fighting here against spearmen they're gonna be fragmented very soon these knights will break this turn yeah there we go um and of course major disruptions for us and they are taking the bait unfortunately the bait is working to their advantage um here we go let's see if we can't even things out Come on, boys! Now we've got a real battle on our hands. We held firm, but that downhill uh, damage that they're going to do is going to be pretty tremendous. We're going to have to get some nice flank attacks here. No doubt about it. We shall fight to the last man. Now, this is where I'm really seeing the Field of Glory medieval happen. This is beautiful. We've got a proper medieval battle going on, almost like Total War style, uh, with the constant action going on. I really like that. Hold. And they did flank attack. Damn it. Yeah, I was worried about that. Incredibly, our men held firm, but they did flank attack. We're lucky they didn't flank attack our um, sub-general. Come on. Yes! We got a break. Get them. Charge into them, boys. But see, most of them held firm, incredibly. Um, most of the enemy held firm. Thankfully, William of Normandy is feeling a little more... Um, well, the morale is a little higher, but the fact that they held firm against that charge is frustrating. So we're getting the side impact here. Let's just take a look. See, wind chance is quite low. If only we had turned this way. All right, let's see what we can do with Cav. Huh. That's weird. Spearman. Now the idea here is to charge next turn. We could also charge this unit over here. That's what we're going to do. We've got most of our men focused on him, so I am going to attack as well against the Fjordman. Love to see a unit break here. Got to take a look all along the line as to where we could be of service. And this is where I was hoping we could be of service with um, the Norman general. But wait a minute. Oh my goodness. We're going to run through with Tursten Fitzrolf. 
A nice little charge there. I wasn't expecting that disruption on the enemy flank. Can we charge here too? Yes, we can. Unfortunately, that one didn't go as well. But it's good to see that we could still put the hurting on the enemy. Now, what might be a good idea is to get yet another cavalry unit out here to assist. And we are going to send another group of Norm Norman knights and sergeants through. Keep on fighting the melee battle. In this particular case, we're uphill. So this is where we have a slight advantage. I'm just going to keep on rushing through with my knights. I don't want to be hit again. Uh, and we'll keep distance with that one. But again, bringing in more and more knights to try and smash into these positions would work wonders for us. It all comes down to the hand-to-hand -hand fighting now. We charge here. That's actually pretty even. Yeah, I'm going to do it just to stop them from attacking us, um, one of our other units along the line. I'm going to fall back. Yeah, oh boy, it's not going to go so well, but actually in the melee, it's pretty even. So I am going to get in there, just give us another chance at a victory. Uh, the charge, okay, not bad. So very even. I'm not going to feel bad about that one bit. This is the guy that I think is in serious trouble. The Norman Spearman unit right there. Um, we could try to get over there with a spear unit, but I doubt we're going to get there in time. We're going to do our best. I'm also going to set this cavalry up, hopefully for a charge, a flank charge. I think you guys can see what I'm going for here. Just a massive flank charge up the side, hopefully, um, to completely crumble the enemy's forces. But to be honest, they could do the same to us over here on this side. So we want to be extraordinarily careful. And the turn. See, that's that unit is in serious trouble. Fragmented. And I think they'll break these two, and that could be their route, essentially. A lot of our men being fragmented and pushed back. That's never a good sign. Disrupted as well. Just all along the line, our men are being disrupted here. We need to get a lucky break, essentially. Um, see, those guys holding firm, not what we want to see at all. Hold on, boys. They've all come down from Senlac Hill at this point. They have to. I mean, they've got to just throw everything into it. As you can see, charging down with Girf Godwinson himself. Nice! Tremendous work there. Tremendous work by our knights defending against the poor quality Fjordmen. To be fair, they are poor quality Fjordmen. Nonetheless. That's a break. That's a break. Come on, boys. Disruptions are happening way too easily on our line. <laughs> That's for sure. We can start to see why uh, Harold Godwinson was so successful. <laughs> All right, a nice. See, that's probably our first nice fight there in the center. Now, this is where we need to have some something happen. Come on, cavalry! He held firm. I'm just amazed at how uh, the enemy, the Normans, seem to hold firm no matter what. Um, pretty horrifying here. Hmm. Yeah, once again, not, not looking good for us. Now, this is a flank charge. See, I don't understand why that would not be a good charge. All right, nonetheless. Run down these good quality Fjordmen. 
and maybe a nice charge. gonna require a few more men for us to make that an actual worthwhile charge, that's for sure. And what about over here? This is where we tr we really, really need a break. Um, Alright, I'm going for the flank charge. Disrupted. Damn it. This does not count as a flank charge. Here we go, another flank charge. Fragmented. That's what we're looking for, boys and girls. That is what we're looking for. Even the charge wouldn't go so well over here, as you can see. With Eustace of Boulogne, a 2% chance. The draw chance is pretty high, so I'm going to charge. And we just broke the unit. Don't mind if I do. Now we need to turn around. Let's turn around. <laughs> um... We're not done yet. There's a lot to worry about here. Now, for those of you that are very new to, like, Field of Glory, if you guys see the tattered flag, that just means that they have a lot of casualties, which is obviously very good for us. We want to get... We want to keep that tattered flag going. Um, so, essentially, we want to drop their numbers even more and get them to break. Let's keep on fighting. Come on. Held firm. Damn, he's holding firm against very strong attacks by us. Now, I wonder if we hit them, if we hit them with both units, you know, we're sure to lose the attack, but if we hit them with both units, could we potentially cause a rout? I don't think I'm going to take that risk. Time to end the turn and see what happens. I have actually turned around a French knight and sergeant unit here to try and bash the English in the back, but I don't think it's going to be happening here. Let's end the turn. And again, they have broken our Norman Spearman here. Very, very even melee there in the middle, but eventually something's going to give way. That's what I was concerned about, fragmenting the unit there. If they could just hold firm a little while longer, we might be able to turn this into a route on the opposing side, of course. And they still held firm. Man, I've got to give it to them. Um, the, the English are holding on very, very well here. I'm not gonna lie. Keep fighting, keep fighting. And that's, that's gonna seal the deal, I think. Uh, that's pretty rough, having them come in here and get a flank charge, especially with additional units there. This could get pretty deadly pretty quickly. Right, we have disrupted one of their units, but again, unless we could do a major charge, I don't see that coming out of victory. Our men could not hold on any longer in that position. An auto break was necessary. Very few men even left in that unit, as a matter of fact. And all the disruptions, uh, from what I can see, are coming from our side. So this is definitely um, a lesson for future fights in Field of Glory Medieval. I'm going to be a lot more cautious um, and not, not be so cocky with my attacks. Let's put it that way. Now, we should auto-break this unit pretty soon as well, but not sure exactly how long that's going to take. It's j I'm just amazed that they're disrupting everybody down the line pretty much. There we go. They held firm again, <laughs> despite having like 20 men in that unit. Fragmented, finally. We finally fragmented them. Well, I'm not sure what a rally at this point really is going to do for us, especially with the enemy right here. This seems to be a pretty um, difficult thing to overcome. Here we go, boys. Charge, run them down.
And again, they also are doing quite well on the morale checks. Unlike us, they're doing quite well on those morale checks. Come on, boys. Oh, no, Mambi. No, we're not going to charge through. Although, and once again, the continuation charge would actually do quite a lot of damage to these guys. But this charge alone really wouldn't. So, going to push forward and just try to get behind the enemy, essentially. What about right here? Yes, go for an impact. Fell back. Nice, nice try, though. Nice try by our men. Uh, and I say we just keep on firing, trying to weaken the existing men, of course. Now, there's a slight downhill potential advantage here, but the lost chance is just as great. What I'm going to try to do is get these guys over here, but I think it's a bit too late to stop the, uh, the enemy there. What about right there? Let's go for it. Charge. Fragmented. We'll have to cut through next turn. Now, I'm amazed these guys have not broken yet. These Fjordmen. They have lost a substantial number, of course. Let's do it. Well, we could get a charge here. Or, guys, here we go. Flank, rear charge. Enemy breaks on contact. The question is, does this charge continue into the rest of the enemy troops? Or does it stop with this unit? Because this alone could be quite useful to us. Let's get out. Yeah, that's not going to work out very well. Um, so, I'm just going to keep the cavalry there. Simply face the enemy and end the turn. Man, an exciting battle nonetheless. And it's my first in Field of Glory 2 Medieval, so I don't feel awful with a win. Though I was really thinking initially we were going to get... Or I don't feel awful with a loss. I was initially thinking we were going to get a win. Um, we're going to have to play more. A bit different from the kind of combat you would expect in Field of Glory. There's definitely differences between Medieval combat and Ancient Warfare. Um, I'm starting to see that now. I didn't think that they were going to be very dramatic, but they definitely seem to be. Now, for one, the cavalry uh, flank charge is not a sure bet, um, especially, you know, if the enemy's aware of you or if you're actually coming up from a hill or through the woods. It's just not a sure bet, and that's another break for our side. A lot of the units on our side that are breaking are just getting to a point where they don't have any more men to keep the fight going. Their units are holding firm. They've got plenty of men behind them. There's a lot of confidence, and we need to put an end to that. And see, this is just a total break. This is them rolling us up in the center. That never feels good. Blank attacks, my goodness. Fragmented on our side, and again, this unit is so beaten up, but yet we're the ones that get fragmented. To be fair, both of our units are terribly beaten up here. <laughs> Um, on both sides, honestly. There we go! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Now, if we could just get a few more legendary attacks like that, then we actually stand a chance. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long day. Come on, boys. And there we go. We've broken them. But again, they all pass the morale check. That's so weird. Every single one of them passed the morale check. Let's charge here. 
Now we can get a flank charge. And they held firm. I mean, how can you beat an enemy this good, you know? <laughs> Even with a flank charge by knights, these guys are holding on for dear life. And I think they will shut us down next turn. They'll make this unit right here um, fall back. Now, since we've gotten a few of their units to break, uh, obviously now the difference is a little more even. I'm going to do a flank charge right here with our Flemish Spearmen. They are fragmented already. I like to see that. And what else can we do here? Well, let's just carry on the standard attack. Hopefully we break them completely, and there we go. And actually, our initial charge here is going to work out quite well. As to whether it's going to continue to be um, a successful charge, only time will tell. But we're definitely going to try. We're rolling the dice on this one for sure. You know, Esther right here, definitely not. We would not do well on this charge. Um, in fact, I'm going to just turn this way. In case the enemy charges us, at least we'll have our spears at the ready. But I am going to push some more Flemish spearmen through, although I think it's a bit too late for that. We can at least lower their number. That's my perspective, at least. Like, when I'm losing a game, my perspective is always try to do as much damage to the enemy as you can, uh, given your current situation. It's in the turn. Wow, we actually got some disruptions there. Some disruptions on top of the hill. But here, these men are getting very tired. They're already disrupted. They're already fragmented. I don't see them hanging around too long, honestly. Um, a lot of losses on those flanks, by the way. Both of the units, or both groups of units, as you can see from the tattered flags, have lost a lot of men here. They're gonna charge. All downhill. They are now all coming downhill to shut us down. And that, of course, is the unit that is going to have to break. They rolled us up perfectly there in the center. That, for me, is the biggest lesson learned about holding the center. I'm always focused on the flanks, but never the center much. That's going to be a break. And sure enough, they did charge down the hill towards our cavalry. Thankfully, not as devastating a downhill charge as is expected, um, but still pretty bad. And they still held firm. My goodness, man. The Norman Spearmen. They've done so much for us. And that unit still refusing to break. I mean, it's incredible. They are holding on for dear life. That's for sure. The English are holding on for dear life. We're going to have to put this down as the Normans if we want this to end quickly. And I think a nice cavalry charge will work wonders here. Nope. Not so. They are fragmented, so they should break next turn, but obviously this turn they're going to be just fine. What about over here? Again, they managed to hold firm. I'm just amazed at the enemy's ability right now. Uh, I won't charge there. It's not going to work out for us. Not going to work out for us there either. kind of looking across the battlefield as to what else we can do. But sometimes you've done everything you can, boys. We haven't done everything we can yet, though. Let's charge. Impact hit. 
stay held firm. See, with them holding firm that many times, it's going to be very hard to break them. I am going to try to break the poor quality Fieldman over here. Yeah, that was a pretty easy break. Oh, nice. Rear attack. Okay, didn't expect that. Had we done that initially, this would be a victory, of course. Okay, not able to charge there. Interesting. Um, in that case, I am just going to prepare for their charge. And we might as well weaken them with some arrows. Slightly higher impact victory chance. Bring the battle to them, boys. Bring the battle to them. And again, here in the center is going to be our great downfall. I just see no way to break out of that, but we will end the turn. It's almost an English victory here. I love also, I just realized, but I love the um, bodies on the field. They seem to have a lot more bodies on the field than previous iterations of Field of Glory. I like that. I like to see, you know, the devastation left by battles. It's probably one of the main reasons why I play strategy games in the first place, is just to see that tremendous devastation. Brutal flank attack. Nice. See, that's the kind of attack we need, but it's because the enemy's attacking us uphill, so we get a slight advantage. Well, more than a slight advantage. And they auto-broke another unit. I think that's all they need. That's 41% of our army. If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be a GG, but what a fun game. I'm loving Field of Glory 2 Medieval. Um, I know what people have managed to do with Pike and Shot and with Field of Glory in terms of mods, so I cannot wait to start seeing what kind of mods we get here. That's going to be awesome. Um, I, I'm expecting a lot of good stuff, guys, so for those of you that are modders, please give us some interesting uh, battles to play. And this is one of many interesting battles, of course, but one available with just the vanilla version of the game. Next, I think I want to try something with the Mongols. Uh, see how the Mongols actually are in battle when we face them, when we're actually fighting them. Come on. See, if we had managed to get one break here, we might have been able to hold on. Okay, a little break. Depending on what happens here, we might be able to hold on another turn, but I doubt it. Oh, wow. Two rallies. We just got a hero achievement. That is pretty... Pretty crazy that they managed to rally um, that close to the end of the fight. And we're getting another charge thanks to our cavalry, but unfortunately not enough to break through. What if we charge with our infantry? We have nothing to lose, do we? Charge! Norman Knights! We really want to try to break this unit right here. Just the win chance and the loss chance is bad. See, the win, the win chance there is not even existent. Here, we have a slight win chance. I'll go for it. And we're going to go for a downhill charge on this unit. Nice! Disrupted. Those are the kind of attacks we need. The kind of attacks we needed to begin with. Simply going to turn around. It's unlikely, unlikely that these guys are going to be able to return to the fight. And now what about our right side of the battle? Unfortunately, the enemy is in a pretty good position here. None of them are really um, 
fragmented or anything like that. So I think, yeah, it's pretty much over. We'll try to break this guy. Okay, hey. Another rear charge, but they held firm. They held firm. And again there, that is a loss. Over here, probably a win. No, it's actually very even. And these guys, like I said, you know, I, I don't even want to mess with them on this side. Um, unless the win chance was dramatic, but it isn't. So we're just going to keep things as they are. End the turn. It did get pretty close at the end, though. At least we managed to damage them quite a bit. Um, but yeah, they held on, man. They just held on. They did not stop fighting. And neither, neither did our men, for that matter. Uh, until they came down to having almost no men at all, our men held out to the very end. Come on. That's our unit auto-breaking. I thought it was their unit auto-breaking. And, yeah, that's going to be it for sure there. What a nice fight, though. The English crushing us at the Battle of Hastings. We need to get a little bit of... Um, oh, and there we go. The general fell. Um, we need to get a little bit of practice in for sure. But I am loving what's here so far. Really, really cool stuff. Obviously, the ability for multiplayer, the ability for modding as the game progresses. I just can't wait, man. I want to see the casualty count. Flank charge on the cavalry. My goodness. I mean, even when our knights are in such a good position, if we, if we can't, you know, eliminate the enemy quickly, then the enemy spearmen have a chance of getting behind us. Those charges have to be immediate and brutal uh, for us to actually break through. That much I have realized. Okay, more disruptions, more disruptions, if only the battle could go on a little while longer. Although even then, I don't think we have a chance of turning this one around. Um, unless we get multiple, like, um, cavalry charges with breaks, it's, it's just very unlikely. Well, no, one, no matter, our men fought so bravely here, boys. Um, and I want to see exactly what... So we were on... Oh, we were on night. Oh, man. We got to do better than that. At least we didn't take sergeant. But we want to be up here at Duke, at least. Now, if anybody goes and does king, you're absolutely insane. Um, but I want to see the actual um, battle casualties. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, guys. This is, again, one of the reasons I love strategy games so much is being able to see the absolute brutality after a battle. 414 killed on the enemy side, 836 wounded, 117 captured or deserted. But look at our side, 872 killed. That 1,078 wounded, man, it was nasty, especially for our boys. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. If you enjoy Field of Glory 2 Medieval and you want to see more, you know what you got to do. Like, comment, Subscribe. Take care, folks.